Hello, everyone. How y'all doing today? Y'all good? Yeah, I'm glad to be here. This is a surreal moment for me right now. Okay, if you have a question for Mike, please raise your hand. We'll go here right in the middle on the third row to Jacques. Hey, Mike, Jacques Doucet, WAFB in Baton Rouge. Um, just in, in your own words and memories, so you come from Clemson, you talk about playing inside, it's, it's, it's a hard adjustment to play inside, and late in the year you sack Alabama and you kind of come on. So do, do you feel more comfortable where you're at now and in the impact you can have this year? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, and uh, a huge has come from Coach House, you know. Uh, but I believe I can go out and I can play at a high level, you know, really anywhere you need me to be at the field. Uh, I got a lot more reps playing inside throughout the spring. And now that's, uh, that's my job, you know. It's not like, you know, I got to learn how to do this or this is something different from me. You know, every day when I go out on that field, I, I'm expecting myself and I'm going to demand myself to execute, you know, to my coach's level every day, you know, at, at what he asked me to do. And, and that's playing inside in the box. Right here on the front row. Hi, Mike. A.P. Stedham, WHEP Foley, Alabama. Uh, Mike, what's going to be the, the defensive scheme this year? What's a little bit different with the new coaching staff? And what's the identity you're looking for, you individually and your team? Uh, I would say the biggest difference um, with our team this year uh, defensively is, you know, we're really multiple. Um, We've got plenty of talent. We got a lot of talent, and so you know we can do a lot of different things. You know, show a lot of different looks, and uh, you know I know Coach House is going to have a great plan. Uh, when it comes to identity, Mike Jones, my biggest goal for this year is just to go out there and play my best football. I know if I can go execute, you know, to the level that my coach is going to have me execute, everything's going to handle itself. And uh, for a defense, and well, for a defense first, uh, Coach House's big thing is Tigers run. And so, uh, you know, we're trying to get back to that LSU style of football. You know, we're going to run fast, and we're going to hit, we're going to be physical, and we're going to tackle. You know, and that's just, that's who we're going to be. That's going to be our standard, and uh, I'm sure we'll meet it. To your right, second row. Hi, Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College Station. I want to ask about uh, Max Johnson. I know you didn't play with him, but maybe, you know, going against him in practice, just um, how was he as a quarterback? How do you feel like he, he will be, um, you know, just that A&M in his new role? Yeah, um, I think Max is going to do a great job at A&M. Uh, you know, I played with a lot of good quarterbacks, and uh, he's one of them. Uh, great leader, you know, a great guy, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure he'll make the most of his opportunity. Mike, to your left, fifth row. Mike, uh, Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7 in Auburn. Can you take us through just the biggest differences between an offseason uh, on a Ed Orgeron coach team and, and now sort of the offseason you're experiencing uh, with, with Coach Brian Kelly? Uh, yes. Um, you know, like throughout all college football, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of similar things. You know, everybody's putting in work. Um, the only thing I would say is probably the main difference, uh, you know, the way we're working is a little bit different. Um, our strength staff now, Coach Flint and, you know, the guys in our weight room, they do an uh, amazing job, man, fantastic job. And uh, they're really data-based you know, when data driven with the way that we work. And so, you know, we're constantly wearing things that are going to track our speeds and track how much we've, uh, you know, been running around. And even with the way we lift, you know, they're tracking our speeds with the way we lift. And so, uh, you know, they've really done a great job of, you know, just taking care of the guys in our bodies, you know, and making sure, you know, we're going to go into camp, you know, really healthy and uh, be in a position to be able to, you know, make a run and, you know, have a good year of college football. In the middle here, third row. Mike, when Coach Kelly was first hired, a lot of people said it was a quirky fit, guy from the <laughs> north coming to the south. Mm -hmm. Jack Besh just described him as the perfect fit. What are, what are your thoughts? I think, uh, you know, when you look at LSU five, ten years down the road, I feel like there wasn't a better perfect or a better or a more perfect hire than Coach Kelly. Um, you know, his track record speaks for itself. You know, if you want guys that – going to win, you want to be one of those consistent programs that are constantly, you know, at the top of college football every year, you know, you're going to, who else can do it better than the guys who have been doing it? And, um, you know, just seeing the way that he carries himself, you know, his expectations, you know, the way that, uh, the things that he demands from us, you know, just their process on how to prepare and get ready for a season, uh, it translates to the success, you know, and I, I've been around some good teams throughout my time, and, uh, Coach Kelly's kind of like been the thing that's made me realize that maybe all good teams do things the same. The fifth row on the right. 
Mike, Rob Brown, sport, uh, Sideline Sports Radio and Podcast in Memphis. What's the takeaway from year one? Coming from Clemson, you played in Nashville. I live in Memphis. Nashville's <laughs> the center of the universe for high school football in Tennessee now. It's just <laughs> exploded. But what did you take away that you learned a lot you're going to commit to going forward this year? Plus, minus the good, the bad, and the ugly. From Clemson to LSU? See, and then year one, mm. now for year two. Um, that's a great question. Uh, probably just the expectations of how physically demanding, you know, games are in the SEC. Um, and, of course, they're demanding in all of college football. But my role is a lot different than when it was at Clemson. You know, I was playing more of the overhang role there. I was playing nickel. And so I wasn't taking as much as a physical burden, you know, throughout the season, week to week to week. And so, uh, you know, playing – Mike Linebacker in the SEC, you know, you're going to be in there with some big guys almost every play. You know, every play you're going to have somebody trying to block you. And so uh, uh, I've learned, you know, there are better ways I can take care of my body. You know, I can uh, feel myself better, you know, and just be more proactive with the prehab and things like that. That's probably the main thing I'm taking away. In the middle, fourth row. Chessa Boucher with NBC 33 in Baton Rouge. Mike. What have you learned from Coach House so far? And also, we talked about the season opener against Florida State last time you were in the Dome. <laughs> you were wearing the wrong color, should I say. <laughs> you weren't very successful there. Kind of, what's your takeaway of kind of your expectations for that weekend? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've learned a lot from Coach House. Um, I, I love Coach House, man. He is a great dude, and I'm super blessed to be playing for him, uh, to be getting the opportunity to learn from him you know, just to be around him every day. Uh, you know, and I can say something about every aspect of his life, man, from the way he carries himself uh, to the way that, you know, he addresses us, his players, to the way he interacts with his staff. You know, everything is done at such a high level, and it's exposed me to a level that I've never even known was, you know, just the way things could be done. Um, you know, he's taught me a lot about being a leader, you know, in, in different ways to lead throughout the team, and so, uh, you know, it's it's so many things I can say that I've gotten from Coach House that it's hard to even name one, but 100% uh, sure I am super blessed to be working with him and super thankful for him and, and really our whole staff as well. Uh, and then uh, going back to the Dome to play Florida State, uh, it's going to be exciting. Um, like you said, uh, my last time there wasn't, uh, didn't go the way I wanted in that moment, uh, but, you know, I'm super excited for the opportunity and uh, I'm sure we're going to be ready. I'm sure, the sure Florida State's going to be ready as well, and uh, it should be a great game. Two final questions. First, on your left back row. Yeah, it's, uh, it seems like uh, the sign of the times in college football that you could see guys in your own locker room and then they become your opponents later. You already asked about Max Johnson. Uh, a, a receiver from LSU, Coy Moore, uh, transferred uh, to Auburn. Uh, your familiarity with Coy, and, and what can you tell us about uh, what Auburn's getting in, uh, in, in, in uh, Coy Moore? Yeah, uh, Coy, he's actually a really good friend of mine. Um, Great person. He's a, he's a really good person. He's a good dude. You know, when I came into LSU, uh, you know, transferring in somewhere, you know, it can be hard to make some friends sometimes because, you know, a lot of guys, they have been around each other for years and years and throughout high school, throughout recruitment. And, of uh, course, somebody just kind of naturally gravitated towards, and he was always cool. Um, but what he brings to the game, you know, he's a, a very talented wide receiver, you know, sure hands, great route runner, um, explosive guy, and uh, I know he'll do great things at Auburn. Final question. On your right. Yeah, what are your expectations as a defense, and just um, how do you feel like you guys will improve, you know, this 2022 season? Uh, personally, man, I, I believe the world in our group. Um, and part of that is, you know, due to Coach House's uh, expectations he put on us, uh, but also just the way that we responded and, you know, the way we went out throughout things during the spring. Um, every day, you know, we got better every single day. And, uh, you know, even when, you know, it, it can get tough, you like, like a day eight of practice and you're tired and it's Saturday and it's hot. But to see us continue to like battle and just maintain the standard of, you know, running fast and running to the ball and tackling and just playing LSU defense, um, you know, I, I got big expectations for us. And, but I know, and I'm sure we all know, if we go out there and just play to the level that we're capable of and that Coach House is going to expect us to play, we'll be fine. Mike, thanks very much. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys.